I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabiras this week. And this week we're in Mount Pleasant on the Buffalo Creek Preserve Trail. Oh, this is a beautiful place. Got that beautiful bridge back here. And Kasha's going to tell you all about the trail. We've got a lot of great information coming on today's show. So grab that pen and paper, write down the contact info. But if you don't, if you miss something, all you got to do is go to cabirascounty.us slash on CTW. Mount Pleasant at the Buffalo Creek Preserve Trail, a scenic 2.1 mile portion of the Carolina Thread Trail, located within the town's 400 acre Buffalo Creek Preserve. It's a moderately difficult natural surface trail made of gravel and crushed stone, along which visitors can walk, hike, run, or mountain bike. Land for the trail was donated to the Catawba Lands Conservancy in 2011. The wildlife habitat is home to numerous ground nesting birds and prairie species. The experience begins with a walk through a restored Piedmont oak savanna. Follow the trail along fields where a local farm grows hay and grains. Visitors then enter a young forest and can follow the trail along a bluff above Adams Creek, crossing two suspended bridges like the one behind us. The trail ends in a lovely forest along the banks of Adams Creek, a branch of the Dutch Buffalo Creek. The highlight of the trail is the view from a high bluff over Adams Creek that looks back toward the town of Mount Pleasant. There's no fee to access the trail, which is open from sunrise to sunset, and leashed pets are permitted. The trailhead is located off Malibu Road. Just look for the Carolina Thread Trail sign. For more information on the Buffalo Creek Preserve Trail, visit carolinathreadtrail.org. Now the uh, kickoff for the summer reading is going to happen with bases are loaded, okay? Now at the Intimidator Stadium, there's a bike rodeo on Saturday, June the 11th from 3 to 5 p.m. Kind of bring your bike and your helmet into the stadium and you can kind of brush up on the rules of the road, which is mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. and uh, bike decorations and tips for safe riding. That's always great. Now after the rodeo, the first 100 kids, hey, they get into the baseball game for free. That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty good. Now the rodeo is just one of many Cabarrus County Library events planned for this summer. They got a bunch coming up. More than 100 events. They use entertainment, crafts, and fun to kind of engage families in reading. Now the summer reading program is open to all county residents. All you got to do is just pick up a reading log at any branch of the library and you can qualify for a prize by logging in hours spent reading. So you need to sign up right away. Yeah. Okay. Now, so for more summer reading programs, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or just call 704-920-2050. Have the best summer ever at Discovery Day Camp at Frank Lisk Park. Kids ages 6 to 14 can participate in one or all of the weekly summer mm. sessions that runs June 13th through August 12th, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So parents, you can drop off right. and pick, off, pick up after work. The cost is $130 per week with discounted rates for early registration. Specific activities and weekly themes are emailed out to registrants. Sign up now as spaces fill up quickly for more information or to register for Discovery Day Camp, June 13th through August 12th, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Now, what kid doesn't enjoy splashing in the water? So sure. I mean, oh, oh, absolutely. Now, you got to sign them up for swim lessons at Camp Spencer Park. Now, six 30-minute classes introduce kids ages 4 to 12 to water safety and mm -hmm. also basic skills like treading water, the front float, the back float, that's what I learned when I started, and the front crawl. Now, a level two class is for those who can kind of swim the front crawl, you know, like five feet and tread water for 20 seconds. Now, I don't know if I could do that, but okay. Now, during this advanced class, kids are introduced to freestyle. Now, a morning and evening session are scheduled, and the class is only $50. The first session begins on June 21st. So, for more information, including session times, dates, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. What's great about those classes is mm -hmm. the evening classes, so oh, parents yes. who work have an option as well. Get your summer started with a quacktastic good time at Frank Lisk Park on Saturday, June 4th for the Hendrick Toyota Scion of Concord 5K Fun Run and Walk. 
A part of the Ductona Dash Festival, the road race begins with a fun run walk at 9.10 and the 5K begins at 9.30 a.m. The Ductona Dash Festival takes place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. featuring the rubber duck race at <laughs> noon when 4,000 <laughs> rubber ducks race across the finish line at Franklis Park in an effort to raise funds for Cabarrus County Meals on Wheels. You can participate in the duck race by purchasing a rubber duck sponsorship in advance or on-site on race day. If you get the race, if you participate right. in the race, you get one duck for free. For more information or to register for the Hendrick Toyota Scion of Concord 5K Fun Run Walk and Road Race June 4th at Franklis Park, visit runsignupnow.com and search using Hendrick or call 704-920-3484. Is your team kind of itching to kind of get that first paycheck? Mm -hmm. I, re I remember the first one I got. I mean, that was the first job I got. That, that was kind of cool, get that first paycheck. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe they're kind of ready to land that awesome job, but not kind of sure to, where to start. Now, the Mount Pleasant branch of the library is hosting a job hunting workshop for teens. That's going to be on Tuesday, June the 7th at 4 p.m. Now, paycheck anxious teens can learn how to successfully job hunt in this digital age and get all kind of tips on landing an interview. So for more information on job searching for teens, June 7th, 4 p.m. in Mount Pleasant, just visit cabarrascounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2202. The dogs are taking the checkered flag during the Victory Lane Classic Dog Show on Thursday, June 2nd through Sunday, June 5th. That's at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Nine kennel clubs and pooch associations gather for four days oh, wow. of canine competitions, educational series, and exhibitions, including the popular Diving Dogs Trial. Oh, wow. Yeah. That sounds they, interesting. They know the front crawl and they know the float and all <laughs> well, that too. Right. Dive no, no swim lessons for no. them. Okay. Dogs show off their diving skills as they launch off a deck to retrieve and splash. Oh, they do jump in the water. Yes, okay, that's what a diving I, competition I, I don't know, is. I thought they were just diving on the ground. I don't know. <laughs> For applications and cost information, visit NorthAmericanDivingDogs.com. For more information on the Victory Lane Classic Dog Show, June 2nd through 5th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, visit CabarrusArena.com or call 704-920-3976. Yeah, well, check that out. <laughs> okay, now, Kanapla steps up in the concert game with nationally recognized country superstar, Lone Star. Mm -hmm. Now, the free concert is Saturday, June the 4th from 7 to 10, 10 p.m. in Village Park. Now, join your neighbors for this family-friendly event. Don't forget blankets, lawn chairs, and a picnic, but no pets or tobacco is allowed. Now, a beer and wine tent is open for those 21 years older and older. So, David, I'm amazed by you. Why is that? It's a Lone Star joke for the fans out there. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Over my head. For more information on summer concert series featuring Lone Star, on June the 4th, 7 to 10 p.m. at Village Park in Kannapolis, visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4343. Obviously, we don't rehearse this. No. <laughs> Gosh, no. Put the smart device or game controller down and prepare for an intense old school game of chess. Concord Chess Challenge Play to Win is on Saturday, June 11th from 2 to 5.30 p.m. It's open to all ages and skill levels, mm. even the diving dogs, perhaps. <laughs> Chessers right. can leisurely play or turn up the intensity in three different kinds of competitions. Huh. I'm so excited for this. For more information on Concord Chess Challenge, June 11th, 2 to 5.30 p.m. at the Concord branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-920-2050. Okay, now here's one of my favorite things. Let's get muddy at the Creek Stomp, okay, on Saturday, June the 4th, from 11 a.m. till noon at Franklis Park. Now, this is a free nature-filled event, kind of explores the world below the surface. They're going to use nets, mm -hmm. kind of looking under rocks, and kind of looking at what we find close up, even using magnifying glasses. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now, all ages are welcome to uncover the world that lies beneath. Now, you want to wear old clothes and shoes, because if you stomp it in the creek, you need that. Okay. Don't forget your wellies. <laughs> That's right. So for more information on Creek Stomp, June 4th from 11 a.m. till noon at Franklis Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. Reptile and amphibian lovers unite for Repticon, mm, one of our favorites, Saturday go. and Sunday, June 4th and 5th. 
course at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Attendees can participate in educational presentations on topics ranging from python breeding mm. to dart frogs. Purchase your early <laughs> VIP tickets online for $12. If you're an adult, $5 for ages 5 to 12. Ages 4 and younger are admitted free with a mm. paying adult. The VIP tickets grant admission all weekend allow an early 9 a.m. admission on Saturday. And tickets are also available at the door. The oh. charge for that is $15 for adults and $5 for kids ages 5 to 12. For more information or to purchase tickets to Repticon June 4th and 5th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, visit CabarrusArena.com or call 704-920-3976. You want to get the inside scoop of where your taxes go? Heck yeah. And what they pay for during a day of very interactive presentations during Government 101. That's going to happen on Friday, June the 10th, 9 a.m. till 2.30 at the Cabarrus County Governmental Center. Now, don't expect a lecture. Sorry, no. if you're looking for a lecture, don't come. Okay, nope. but if you want something that's fun. If it's fun, not fun, we're not going to we sit don't do through it. it. That's mm -mm. it. Now, don't expect that, so expect lots of fun because we're, de <laughs> we're designed this interactive day with panels, activities, demonstrations that guide you through the county's fiscal plan for the upcoming year. Now, you can expect to get answers about your budget questions, and this is pretty cool, mm -hmm. an opportunity to provide valuable feedback on the county's actual proposed budget. Now, this is going to happen before the Board of Commissioners cast their vote, so mm. that's pretty cool. Pretty unique. That's it. For more information on Government 101, the FY17 budget breakdown, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2336. What happens when you're uprooted from your home and moved halfway across the country? Hmm. You've done that a couple times. Yes, I have. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Lots of moving expenses. <laughs> Well, perhaps <laughs> little Riley here won't experience that, but join her on this adventure in the movie Inside Out at Movies in the Park, and that's at Village Park in Kannapolis. Inside Out plays Friday, June 10th at dusk. Typically, that's around 7.30 p.m. Children under the age of 18 need adult supervision and at this as well, right? Yes, right. <laughs> the outdoor theater is free, and you can bring blankets, lawn chairs, and coolers. Just leave the adult beverages at home for this one. For more information on movies in the park showing Inside Out June 10th, 7.30 p.m., visit KannapolisNC.gov or call 704-920-4343. Now it's graduation time again, and the ceremonies are all happening in Cabarrus County Schools right around the corner. Now all the graduations take place at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center and that's just right off Highway 49. Now on Friday, June the 10th, students from the Performance Learning Center will graduate at 9 a.m., Mount Pleasant at 12.30 p.m., Northwest Cabarrus High at 4 p.m., and Concord at 7.30. Now on Saturday, June the 11th, students from Central Cabarrus will graduate at 9 a.m., Cox Mill at 12.30 p.m., Hickory Ridge at 4 p.m., and J.M. Robinson graduates they step right across that stage, 7.30 p.m. Now, please note that uh, attendees are not permitted to bring horns, no. ah, ah, okay, flowers or balloons no. into the ceremony. You can do that afterwards. That's right. Yeah. Have Park a big party afterwards. Yeah, big party at the house. Now, parking is free, courtesy of Cabarrus Arena. And congratulations to the class of 2016. Hey, you did it. All <laughs> right. Now, some lucky kids enjoyed a special story time with Ms. Martha Earnhardt and NASCAR artist Sam Bass before the Hall of Parade at the All-Star Read, Meet, and Greet. After the stories, the kids were treated to an autographed poster designed by Sam himself. A big Cabco thank you to Mrs. Martha and to Sam. Hope to have you back again real soon. I mean, that's just one of the types of things that are going on at the library. Got to mm -hmm. join in that summer reading program. It's that's always right. a lot of fun. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show. So if you missed any of the contact information, like I said before, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, find out all your contact info. And sign up for our newsletter. You can get all this information and more links to sign up for registrations. Just go to cabarruscounty.us, click on the right side of the page, fill out some information or text CTW to 22828. And thanks for the thousands of folks mm. who follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We've got lots of posts for you, but not too many. We don't clog yep. up your stream. We just want you to be informed, people. Be informed. Facebook, Twitter. Absolutely. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash Cabco TV. Up comes our media page for all the different shows that we have on. Because, like I said, we got a new Out and About 
Franklis Park, really nice with the Commissioner Lynn shoot. Yeah, really nice. We got again historical moments with Drew Cannon, with uh, Clarence Wharton, always great, and adorable little doggies and kittens on their new perfect pet for you. Got to check that out. And I tell you what, this is our second time out here at the Thread Trail. It's just. I think it's even more beautiful than the last time we were out here. It is. It's one of the special places we get to come to on the show, and we hope that by doing this, it encourages you to come out because there are so many opportunities oh. here in Cabarrus County to be part of nature and bring your family out and have fun. Take part in it. Absolutely. And until next week, you have a great one. Take care.